Welcome back to Cato Living. Let's eat some raw vegetables now, right? <laughs> <laughs> Tim Golden joining us now with Golden Family Farms, giving us a look into where food really comes from. Tim, thanks for being here today. Oh, my pleasure, always. It's really fun. And can you explain where is Golden Family Farm located at? Sure. Well, my farm is in between New Ulm and Cortland, and so we find ourselves at the Mankato Farmer's Market from May through October and at the New Ulm Farmer's Market June through late August. Oh, fun. So you're always in town, always ready to give uh, a little taste of what you got. Always <laughs> no. somewhere. Love I, it. I want to point out some of the things that you brought because I know the big, everyone's eyes are on this golden commodity right here. <laughs> <laughs> like the we golden commodity. We cannot <laughs> pass up sweet corn as yeah. Midwesterners. Um, and I know a lot of farms have been affected by the flooding that we had, you know, about a month ago. So did you have any, any crops or anything be affected by the flooding? You know, I see that you do have sweet corn here. Is it, did you have a lot or did you lose any of that? We had some minor flood, flood damage, uh, not necessarily from the river, but just from the amount of rain. Some mm -hmm. low areas did have some standing water, but uh, we were very fortunate that we didn't lose too much. Uh, we have some more hilly land, so the river stayed far enough away from us, and so we've been on the lucky side of things. Congratulations. What did you bring today? So today we just grabbed a bit of what we have in season at the moment. We've got sweet corn, which we just started picking this past week, potatoes, which also just the past week or two. We have golden beets, which, excuse me, golden beets, which uh, aren't all that well known, but way better than their, their uh, purple counterpart. Uh, an <laughs> onion and some cabbage, just a oh, bit of what's wonderful. happening right now. Well, now I'm kind of interested in the beets. What kind yeah. of vegetable is this? Is it like a sweeter one then, if it's different from the purple? So the golden beets are actually quite a bit sweeter, yes. Okay. Uh, this is the first year we grew them, made some the other day for my daughters just to try, and they're hesitant. And <laughs> they were eating it like candy by the time dinner was over. They were begging for more, so oh, it was wow. pretty fun. Is there any recommendations you have for people like with this variety up here and like dishes that they can make with these vegetables? It's amazing how, if you just have an air fryer, what you can do with a oh, bit of yeah. a cooking spray of your choice, some seasoning, just get things up to the texture you like, season away, you can't go wrong. Oh, just season and, like and, that. And uh, what about um, some grilling? Like I personally love to grill our corn on the cob. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know it's a little bit different. Um, what are some other things that you could make with the things that you grow for grilling, you know, just to give people some, maybe some change, maybe they're stuck in a rut with their recipes. Sure. Sure. Uh, I guess you can always go with grilled potatoes just by simply having some, t you know, tin foil, aluminum foil, and throw in your just variety of some onions with some cabbage, and actually uh, probably a bit of everything that's here, here right now would be a great combination uh, on the growth of seasoning of your choice, right alongside some burgers, and you've got your full uh, fresh meal right there. Oh, you're making, oh. I'm so hungry now. We're talking about so much food on this show. It's tough to follow the sandwiches you just had. Though, <laughs> I know, say. I know, but it's a beautiful array. And you know, one thing that's really special about farmers markets, especially the Mankato one, is you really get a chance to see the farmers in the yeah. community and get a chance to talk to them. What do you hear from customers who come up to you at the markets and are wondering more about where exactly their food comes from? Well, I would have to say probably my if there is a favorite thing about the farmer's market, it is the fact that you recognize and know the names of so many customers as they're coming by. And so when they come by, they greet you by name and they'll ask, when is this coming? When they know what you grow or they ask about a certain crop, or like you'd mentioned, they'll ask, so how can I make this differently? What's some ideas you have? So really just that connection with the grower that you have being at, at the farmer's market as a customer really gives you an insight to how was it grown, what practices were used, and what really is it? If I haven't seen this before, how can I make it and how am I gonna like it? Wow. And uh, with that being said, um, what are some things that maybe those rev reviews, if you want to call them, you know, talking with these people, these interactions have done for you to maybe make your farm better, you know, and, and keep improving to give back to the community? It's funny you mention that because this was something <laughs> I had never planned on growing. Yeah. But the, over the last couple of years, the number of people have asked, have you ever heard of Golden Beets? And I thought, no, I haven't. Did a little digging. And after enough people kind of said, hey, <laughs> yeah. try them, try them. Okay, here they are. And yeah. well, they're a hit. Wow, it's so amazing to hear, Timmy. You know, if somebody was interested in learning more about Golden Family Farm or coming to a Mankato Farmer's Market, where can they find you? Well, our website is goldenfamilyfarm.com. Uh, we also have a CSA program that opens up uh, in the winterish time, so you can get a bit of what season season during the summer, but that is full for this point of the year. Uh, that or just simply stop by the Farmer's Market. We have the Mankato Farmer's Market website at mankatofarmersmarket.com. Shoot us a message and we'll get you hooked up with someone you're looking for on the product you're trying to find. Oh, amazing, that's Tim. Awesome. Thank you so much for being here. This is a lot of fun. <laughs>